It's always a pleasure to know that you're watching New Vision TV's pal of Africa Diaries with me, your pal guide, Ruthie Naseje. And the journey in exploring Uganda's animals is not about to end. And today I bring you the Ugandan giraffe, which is also called the Rothschild giraffe. Now, as we all know, these animals are the tallest animals in the world, measuring up to six meters in height when fully grown. That is about 20 feet. Yeah. Now, interesting about these animals is that they have seven bones in their long necks, which is also similar to that of a human being. Also, the lifespan is similar to that of a human being. So in this edition, I bring you more interesting facts about the giraffe and we explore why the Ugandan giraffe is also called the Rothschild giraffe. <laughs> Uganda is among so many African countries that has acquired a number of giraffes. Here at the Maction Force National Park, over 900 giraffes stay here. Many more are found at Kidepo Valley National Park and some in Lekumburu National Park. Like a series? Yesterday I posted that. Yesterday I posted that. Even the Uganda Wildlife Education Center has two giraffes, which are basically for conservation and educational purposes. We start the journey of understanding these tallest mammals on land here. As the trend is at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center, every animal has a human name. Their names are got from the people who rescued them. Likewise, these giraffes have names. The tallest giraffe is a male, and his name is Seguya. At 11 years, Seguya was brought here. He's now 22 years old. The other rather shy and small giraffe at the edge of the fence is a female. She was six years on arrival, and now she is 11. Her name is Niall, as Dan Mirembe, a zookeeper at work tells me. Niall was caught from the Makshan Falls near the River Nile. Ugandan giraffes are known as the Rothschild giraffes. But where does this name come from, and what does it mean anyway? They are named after the Rothschild. Uh, it was one of the uh, known European Israel men who was wealthy and he used to keep wild animals, so that's where the name comes from. And then the other best fact about them is that among the animals that are born and become active very fast is the calf of a giraffe. So in one hour, it will be active, and in 10 hours, it can run at the same pace with the parent. It is not easy to differentiate between a female and a male giraffe, especially when you find one. But here are some of the pointers you can't consider when you find many. And the height is dependent on the sex as well as the size. So the male is around 5.7 meters high and the female is 4.7 meters. So the, the difference between these giraffes and the rest of the giraffes is on the patches, on the spots. So the rest of the giraffes, the entire body is patched with some patches whereas these ones the legs are not patched so that is the differentiation when fully grown they measure up to six meters in height their weight goes up to 2800 pounds but the males weigh more than the females by several hundred pounds However long the neck of a giraffe is, it has just seven bones. The seven bone feature is similar with a neck of a human being. These necks give them an exceptional height, enabling them to eat leaves and shoots located much higher on trees. But as they reach for the trees, effort is exerted on the long tongues. 
the, the tongue is around 45 centimeters, that's for the, for the female. And the reason why they have a long tongue and a rough tongue is because they feed on browses, they feed on leaves. So they need a long tongue and a rough one to pick the leaves and the branch from the wood from the tree. So that's the instance of them having uh, long tongues. Another amazing fact about giraffes is that they can go for months without drinking liquid water, but they can get it from the leaves they eat, such as the acacia. It is an interesting activity when it comes to feeding these animals. I had a chance to feed Sergia with a yellow banana. With this kind of feeding, they live up to 45 years, and when they are under captivity, it exceeds to 50 years. Uganda still faces the challenges of poachers. According to Mirembe, they are hunted for their tail. They are regarded to be some of the animals which are critical, which are endangered. So in other words, their population is being threatened. Uh, we having 900, that's a very small population. And the reason as to why they are always hunted for the most profound reason is because of the tail. The tail for making some ornaments and also the skin and then also the, something to do with the bush meat crisis. So that's why we have them here to provide awareness to communities and also for them to be bred. As Ugandans, we need to strive to protecting such animals because when they get extinct, Uganda will cease to be called the Pearl of Africa. Here is the scientific classification of a giraffe. The kingdom is Animalia, Phylum Chodata, class Mammalia, order Archaeodacta, family Giraffidae, genus Giraffe, species G. Camelopardalis, subspecies G. Rothschildi. <laughs> It gives me my joy when I share such information on most of Uganda's animals. But if you're interested in getting to know more about a specific animal, drop the name in the comment section. I will be honored to feature it on New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries, your home of adventures. I am Ruth Naseje, your Pearl Guide. <laughs>